Hey guys, it's my tech of tomorrow. Today we're going to be looking at the HTC One X. Uh, I bought it Radio Shack for fifty dollars less than what most people bought it for, so that's one hundred fifty dollars. Uh, if you want to still buy it for that price, you can go on to Amazon Wireless, and they have it there for the same price. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, so as I already mentioned, uh, the I bought this at Radio Shack, and they had to open it up and turn it on, put the SIM card in, and stuff like that, etc. So it's not first time powering up or anything like that. You won't get to see that on camera, but you will get to see what's in the box. So let's run over the specs first. We've got um, 4G LTE, which is the reason why the US version, which is what I have here on AT&T, it only has the Snapdragon S4 processor instead of the international version, which has the um, Tegra 3 quad-core processor. 4.7 inch display, and that is with a resolution of 720 by 1280 pixels and if you know anything about like the tiniest thing about video you know that's 720p HD not full HD but it's still great on such a tiny phone well not tiny phone but on just a phone such a small screen compared to a real TV 8 megapixel camera which shoots in burst mode that's the back it also takes 1080p video uh, front camera is 1.3 megapixels and it will take uh, 720p video Wi-Fi and most Computers, I believe, and even phones, phones and computers support B, G, and N Wi-Fi. This one supports A, B, G, and N. I don't know who has A Wi-Fi anymore, but if you have it, then this is a phone for you. Uh, Android platform, which is running Ice Cream Sandwich, and uh, HTC Sense 4. It's 4.0, but they just say 4. And let's open it up. So on the inside, we got Quick Start Guide, um, SIM card holder thing. The phone itself, which we're going to put off to the side, looks like they already peeled off the cover for me at Radio Shack, which was quite disappointing. Um, a little tray, um, the SIM card, micro SIM card remover. Apple provides one very similar to it. And that's what it looks like. And it's just to get the micro SIM card out, which is not that amazing. Here are the specs again. Looks like we've got um, a micro USB to USB charging cable, I'm sure of that. And we've got a regular US wall to a regular USB thing, and some useless paperwork at the bottom. So that's all we got. Now, as for the phone itself, we've got it here. It looks really sleek. Um, at first glance, you can see, well, let's run over what it's got. You're rocking some Beats audio enhancement. Okay, I love it when the camera focuses like that. Um, FCC warnings, etc. Back camera with single LED flash. Uh, micro SIM card slot, which is right there. And if we can get the camera to focus, there we go. Lock button right there, lock power button. Um, additional microphone for voice or noise cancellation. A 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Oh no, sorry. This was the little ejection spot for the SIM card and this is the noise cancellation microphone. On the left side you got the micro USB uh, charging port. Continuing to the bottom you got a single microphone. So on the right side you have here your volume rocker. Now that's a little irregular because normally it is located on the left side on most devices such as the iPhone etc. And I, it's really bugging me that the camera is not focused right now. There we go. Anyways. Not wasting time on trying to get the camera to focus anymore. On the front you have three capacitive buttons right here. The home lock and recent apps. There we go, I'll get it to light up for you. Um, yeah, I'll zoom in too. You got your um, home, back, and recent apps uh, capacitive touch buttons. 4G LTE. Uh, if it were an HSPA+, Plus, it would have a little H, not a 4G logo. So, um... You got that, you got seven home screens in HTC Sense 4 instead of five in stock Android. Um, now, just to do a quick test, I'm going to do a speed test on the 4G LTE speeds for you. And I'll be right back once I've downloaded the app. And begin test. It's connecting to San Francisco. Ooh, I'm going to change it to megabits per second down. 
and this is actually quite disappointing because I thought I was getting HSP, uh, I thought I was getting LTE speeds, but it looks like I'm just getting um, HSPA plus because 2.0 isn't that great. You could probably get that on 3G, um, 3G connection, and yeah. Now let's we can test to see if this is the capacity of the phone by connecting it to my home Wi-Fi network. Well, okay, guys. So now we got it connected to my home Wi-Fi network, as you can see right there. And we will begin the test. Now, remember, this has the uh, like the ability to go up to 10 megabits down. And okay, so it looks like uh, I'm getting about half a megabit down, which is really disappointing compared to the 10 that I normally would get on a computer. And um, I'm just going to conclude that this is a mess, like, a, yeah, as you can see, that's a really obscene upload score for, because uh, I only normally get about 0.4 megabits per second upload, so I'm just going to conclude that this is just the super obscene mess up of speedtest.net app. Before I go, I forgot to show you two features on the phone earlier. There's actually a glowing LED light to show you charging behind the speaker grill. On the back, you got some dock ports right there on the phone for future docking. And one last thing is the front facing 1.3 megapixel camera located at the top right of the front of the phone. If you learned anything from this video, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, this has been my take of tomorrow.